The number one mistake I see in prompt writing is when you are just too vague. And I thought what better way to get started than by using an example within Nebia Studio using a text to image model. So today we're gonna to be using Flux One Dev from Black Forest Labs. Now let's start with a simple text prompt. So I'm gonna ask for a portrait of a woman. Great, so we used our initial prompt here, fairly broad, and we've got our initial output. Let's go one step further and ask something a little more specific. So in this case, we're going to ask for a close-up portrait of a middle-aged woman with curly red hair in natural lighting. So we're being inherently more specific in this second prompt. Fantastic, so we've got the initial output, but it does look a little bit cartoon-like, especially when we look at the cheeks, the nose, and that chin area. So what we can actually do is use the same prompt again, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. We're gonna use something called a negative prompt. Now, a negative prompt allows you to specify elements and properties which you want to avoid in the final output. So you can think of a prompt as what you specify to get the final output and a negative prompt as what you specify to avoid in the final output. In our case today, we're going to use blurry, oversaturated, unrealistic lighting. And let's use the same text prompt and submit that again. Okay, fantastic. So we've got our next output. And as we can see already, the lighting and facial expression features here between the first and second one, the second one being significantly more realistic than the first. This has improved my first try success rate by about 40%, especially when you want to get same high quality images, but be very specific and use things like a negative prompt to really hone in that final output. Now, I'm using Nebia Studio today just because of the level of customization that they have over the final output. You can change things from the model itself. So they have a whole range of text-to-text -text and text-to-image models for you to choose from, including Stable Diffusion and those from Flux. They also provide parameters for you to really have a lot of control over that final output. So you can specify the image size, the negative prompt, which we've just stated, as well as the seed, the extension, and also the output format. So I think this is a brilliant way to get started experimenting and using text to image models today. Now, if you want to get started, you can totally for free. You can get $25 in free credits. All you have to do is head up to your account, go through to billing, add funds, add a voucher, and use the code text to image And what you'll do is you'll get $25 in free credits to get started. So hope that helps. Let me know how you get on. Cheers.